So you should have heard of Techno Camon 18, 18 p and 18 Premier, but this, this is Camon 18i, the cheapest option in the 18 series. The bus color is silver and blue, and the first thing you will see when you pull out the cover is the device itself. So let's keep this aside for now. Then you have a warranty card, a soft clear case, an 18 watt fast charger, your SIM removal tool, USB 2.0 and some good looking earpiece. So again, this is the Camon 18i and color option on here is space gray. There are other color options actually, but thank God this is the one I received. It looks like a blend of black and silver coming from either side to meet in the middle. And there is this stripe of five textured lines by the side, adding more beauty to the rear of the phone. The front of the phone also look very beautiful too and the bezels on the side are certainly not the worst I've seen on a device at this price point. But then, there is this huge punched notch defiling every beauty ambition the screen on the Camon 18i may have. Actually, the hole is the space reserved for the selfie camera and as you can see, the lens itself is very tiny but the bezels around it are kind of huge and that is why the cycle itself is a little bigger. The other models in the 18 series has a dot notch in the center and their point is a little more tinier than this one. Other external looks of the phone includes the power button and the volume rockers on the right hand side, a 3 in 1 card slot on the left, and your microphone, a 3.5mm audio jack, micro USB 2.0, and the loudspeaker grill in the basement. As far as design is concerned, the other models in the Camon 18 series might look more beautiful than this very one, but I'll pick the design of this 18i over the vanilla Camon 17 anytime. Camera is everything Techno Camon series represent, and this one has a 48 megapixel primary lens, an AI depth sensor, and a third AI lens for low light shots, along with four super bright LED flashes. On the front, there is a single 8 megapixel snapper and this one gets a dedicated LED light as well. Image qualities are pretty decent both indoors and outdoors. Although the noise level on some indoor shots could get overwhelming in certain situations, but that should be expected given the price. Aside the standard AI camera, there are other camera modes like beauty mode, portrait mode, etc. The portrait mode for example can take decent portrait images with notable background blur, it's just that edge detection is still a miss and hit most of the time and this is applicable to both the rear and front camera. The camera interface also gets the inclusion of Google Lens which is available with most recent techno phones. This means you don't need any third party app to research and know more about things around you plus you can simply point your phone at any text document and get it quickly copied over to your smartphone. That is how simplified life has become. On the hardware and software wing, the processing power on the Camon 18i comes from MediaTek Helio G85. This is different from the Helio G88 used on the standard Camon 18 and the Helio G96 powering 18p and 18 Premier. The processor is given Mali G52 GPU, 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage, which is a similar setup to use on the Techno Pova 2 that we talked about recently. But unlike the Pova 2, the 18i did not get that extra software optimization on the Pova 2, but given that they both have the same CPU, gaming experience on both phones are closely related. Talking about software, if you are familiar with techno phones, you will know that HIOS is the name of their custom user interface. And since version 4.0 used on the Camon 11 series, the interface have undergone a series of modifications to date. The latest version is 8.0 and it is available to the Camon 18, 18p and 18 Premier, but not to the 18i. The 18i is still running HIOS 7.6 and while both versions are built on Android 11, the 7.6 on here is still plagued by ads and blood twists. You see this Coca-Cola beautiful wallpaper? It's an ad and that is how the bloat continues almost throughout the phone. Chrome browser takes you to a customized home page with ads and you like it or not, you will get unsolicited news and suggestions to install apps that you may not even need. However, even amidst this OS letdown, the Camon 18i is still pretty fast. 
But given my experience with other techno phones using this same OS like the Po 5, I'd rather give that sweet and speedy credit to the hardware rather than the software. From Camon 15, 16, 17 and even Camon 18, it has almost been 5000 mAh battery and the 18i is not an exception. Aside having 5000 mAh battery, it also comes with 18W fast charger, so battery should be no issue on this device. A video playback at max brightness and volume brought the battery from 91% to 85% in about an hour, that is about 6% of battery consumed for an hour video playback. So if you don't want to spend 395 US dollars on the Camon 18 Premier or 305 US dollars on the Camon 18P or even 222 US dollars on the vanilla Camon 18, then the 18i is the way to go. Yes, you might miss updated looks and specs from the other models, but you'll be saving almost 50 US dollars, which you can use to get some mid-range quality earbuds. So those are my thoughts on the Techno Camon 18i and I would love to hear your opinion in the comment section below. Our target still remains 2000 subscribers so don't forget to hit that subscription button to push us closer to this target. My name is Steven with Droid Africa and I will see you in our next video. I'm going